So, Madam Web. You don't need to be clairvoyant to know how bad this movie is going to be. The trailer came out four days ago and it is not good. So it is already being ratioed with 88,000 likes and 140 dislikes. <laughs> so let's check out some of these comments. You don't need to see the future to know how well this movie is gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're on the same page, guy. So we're thinking it's probably gonna do just about as well as the Marvels, Ooh. which is horrible. <laughs> So for the second comment is, I love the part when she says, he was in the Amazon with my mother when she was researching spiders right before she died. It all makes sense now, you see? Now you guys, this line is even funnier because this is the line that Dakota Johnson says in the trailer and is going viral because of how monotone she says this. Dude, she says it like Kristen Stewart, like with no changes in her tone at all. Yeah, so if you guys have seen any of Kristen Stewart's movies, she's unable to show any range of emotion in any of her stuff. Now you would think, obviously, one, this line has too much information. <laughs> That's very specific. And two, that you would say that would be like, oh my God, like, Oh God, what's this happening? is how my mom does. <laughs> <laughs> this is how my mom does. She was on Amazon with a random guy researching spiders. But no, it's just said like it's some SNL sketch. Like she's delivering and like, here you go. Well, and it's odd as well to have that in a trailer. Like was yeah. it necessary to tell the audience right away? What about the mystery of movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, don't you want to know the buildup of how we knew the villain would be in this movie? Like, it reminds me of the Marvel's trailer when they basically told us multiverses in the film. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, let's know right away why the villain's here. What? <laughs> and what's going on? Dude, they also break down his whole like story as well. Like, oh, he can see the future, so can I. But his future's trying to kill my future. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> that just makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it's like, uh, you don't know what these girls are going to end up doing. I'm a little lost, but fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you do because the trailer likes to tell you everything without leaving anything behind. You gonna goddamn blow this for me? Yeah, because definitely we need to know what's going on before we go and see this movie, guys. But real quick, guys, if you think the fandom needs to fight back, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button. It gets this video to more people. So obviously, it's gonna be a Spider-Man universe movie, mm -hmm. which I can understand Sony and Marvel being interested in because Spider-Man movies have done well. The Venom movies have done really well. So they're like, yeah, let's cash in on this and make another movie in that universe and call it Madam Web. Who? But the problem is it looks so bad. Oh, I'm cheap. Kind of looks CW quality. Mm -hmm. um, and also, can, it, can anyone tell me what characters are in here that are supposed to be like the star-studded cast of bringing people to the, go see this movie? Because at least in Venom, you had Tom Hardy, who's like a huge actress actor <laughs> huge actor <laughs> kidding um and has like this huge gravitas but your lead actress is dakota johnson and i apologize if she's been in some other really big movies but all i can think of is 50 shades of gray are you gonna make love to me now sounds gonna be 50 shades of madam web that's your fan fiction right there guys yeah so it just doesn't seem like there's anyone really in this movie and then on top of that as everyone in Hollywood would like to tell you, because there's a bunch of women in this movie, women be, should be so excited to go watch this. But personally, God, it looks so fucking boring. Know your fucking place, trash. Dude, even like the jokes they make between the women are all like one-liners and they don't ever fucking land. No, it just seems like very cheap. I'm cheap. Mm -hmm. Like the classic like cliche jokes as well. It's like you can see the future, catch this. And you're like, Bro, you didn't see every that. single movie ever, the future has that, it pisses me off. Yeah, it's like, it's such a cliche. And it's like, dude, are you fucking serious? And then she's like, oh, you almost ran me over. Dude, honestly, did you not notice, like, they're, all of her friends are all, like, multiracial group? Like, all of her yeah, blend, did, did we Disney check blend. all the boxes? <laughs> did we get every race in this group? Yes, yes, yes we, we did. did. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, definitely go watch it. It's good for a good laugh. <laughs> but if you guys watch it, you'll notice there's lots of cuts in this trailer and it's almost alarming because you're like, okay, of course there's going to be different scenes because you're trying to show multiple different parts of the movie mm -hmm. because it's a trailer, but it almost seems unnecessarily convoluted because it seems like the Marvels, like we yep. watched, like someone's in this editing room on fucking Coke, just going like making tons of cuts Come on. Coke down my fucking bed. I'll punch whoever the fuck I want. to make it seem more interesting than it actually is, which tells me this movie has no plot, no story. Dude, you're trying to make it fast paced with the, all these cuts, but all you make it is confusing. I got a little motion sickness, but by the end of it, I'm like, oh God, so many cuts. <laughs> yeah, it's very aggressive. And you're like, holy shit, are we going to another scene? Another scene? Another scene? 
And it makes it seem like there's not a full clip in the movie that's interesting at mm -hmm. all. And as we've seen, you guys, the Marvels came out, bombed at the box Ooh. office. And for the second weekend, it dropped 79%. So it's not it's not getting better. It's getting worse. <laughs> this is getting so bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. And, and this isn't a one off. This entire year, superhero movies have done poorly, mm -hmm. ex excluding maybe Guardians of the Galaxy three because it was a sign off and final movie. So you would assume that Disney and Sony, Marvel, all the production companies in Hollywood would be like, hey, maybe we should focus only on the ones that make us money. Oh yeah. And or focus on making really good stories. So what do they think is gonna happen for Madam Web? Because it's not like it's a very compelling story, amazing actors. It looks like fan fiction. It looks like some child wrote this. Kamala Khan. Yeah, <laughs> like really though. Um, I just don't understand who this is for. Honestly, this movie reminds me a lot of like Harley Quinn's Birds of Prey. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just like a whole bunch of women in a film that's gonna have like stupid one-liners and like a silly plot. And Birds of Prey didn't do well. Mm -hmm. And in the comics, Madame Web appeared alongside Spider-Man several times and the character became a fan favorite. Now I'm sure this character became a fan favorite in comics, mm -hmm. but if this is how they're going to portray her in theaters, how do they expect this to do well? And I don't like it. Because I don't resonate with anything in this trailer whatsoever. I don't see anything that's exciting. Like when I saw Venom, I was super excited to watch that movie and I didn't read the comics. Oh, exactly. Because Venom was actually a well put together film. And Tom Hardy has the star power and like the gravitas that you said to bring me into the theater and make me want to go see it. Also, we know eventually we're going to get a movie where Venom fights Spider-Man. You're more excited about that happening than Madam Web. Yeah. Well, not in that, they were able to make the trailer exciting and funny where Venom was like joking, oh, yeah. even though he's a fucking psycho. And Tom Hardy is funny because you can see his life is falling apart. Mm -hmm. Like, so it was exciting. This just, I don't feel any connection to this whatsoever. Yep. I don't see anything exciting. I don't see anything compelling. But you guys let us know, are you excited to see Madam Web or do you see this bombing like all the others? But let us know and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>